juvenile southern bluefin tuna that summer in the Great Australian Bight migrate as contingents, where one contingent migrates east to the Tasman Sea and another migrates west to the Southeast Indian Ocean. Both groups return to the Great Australian Bight in summer, but the individuals remain faithful to, to their overwintering ground in subsequent overwintering migrations. This behavior is difficult to understand in Southern Bluefin because the population is thought to be genetically homogeneous across their range. I read about the entrainment hypothesis where essentially migratory patterns um, are learned by young fish following older fish. And I decided that this fairly simple hypothesis could explain the migratory behavior of juvenile Southern Bluefin. A problem with entrainment was that previous attempts to simulate it suggested that it was less robust than alternatives that might um, explain multiple contingents. And this cast doubt on its plausibility as a mechanism. However, I felt the way that it had been simulated uh, previously lacked important characteristics that I thought um, a population that was governed by entrainment would possess. So the objective of my study was to, was to simulate entrainment um, with the characteristics that I felt a population governed by entrainment would possess and then see if, uh, if this conferred survival value. The novelty of my study was basically the way that I simulated entrainment. I felt that the relative population size of contingents could provide information to first-time migrants on relative survival and that um, by preferentially um, migrating to uh, the larger population size, um, the larger population contingent, this would confer the um, survival benefit conferred by entrainment. Therefore, when simulating entrainment, it's important to um, simulate or incorporate different survival rates between alternative contingents, at least in some years. And also for multiple contingents to coexist, to commonly coexist, you need a decision rule um, responsible for assigning relative numbers of individuals to one contingent um, and the other, or however many you have, um, that is consistent with the persistence of multiple contingents under a fairly wide range of mortalities. So rather than just using a fairly uh, arbitrary decision rule, I put a fair bit of effort and trial and error into coming up with a decision rule that was consistent with the persistence of multiple contingents. The main implications of my study, I showed that uh, when survival value differs between contingents, it's plausible that entrainment could confer higher rates of survival compared with um, fixed rates of migration. So I provided a basis for explaining the survival value of entrainment, which is essential for arguing its plausibility as a mechanism for governing the migratory behavior of fish populations. In the future, I would hope that uh, marine scientists consider the possibility of entrainment when interpreting fisheries data. And ultimately, it would be good if um, studies were designed and run that could provide information um, to support or oppose the plausibility of entrainment um, as being important in governing the migratory behaviour of fish populations. Mm -hmm.